of the month. It is crunch time for me. It's already the 6th of November. And yeah, I have a lot of things to do in the next coming uh, weeks. One of them is giving up Tuesday seminar presentation in two weeks from now. And uh, therefore I am kind of trying to get a lot of figures out. So um, this is what I am currently right now doing. Let's run this. Yay, creating some figures. So this is uh, an ant track and uh, really excitingly, it is not focusing well. Excitedly, what I have been mainly focusing on is a systematic meandering of the ants. So they, they go left and right in like these meanders that look like, like river meanders. So this is really cool because some of the ants sometimes also show this kind of self-similar fractal pattern which is always really interesting to many people where the ant is, you know, doing this wiggling left to right on this really small scale, but then, then it does it also obviously on this larger scale. If something is doing this on these like multiple scales going left and right, then this is a fractal self-similar pattern. And it would be really, really nice to somehow show this quantitatively. Ultimately, what I'm most fascinated by is finding out what are the rules in, inside the ants that make these patterns. Because we know like the mathematical rules that give these Pinsky triangles and the Koch snowflake and the Hilbert curve, getting these kind of algorithms, not from our math imagination, but from what's going on inside the mind of the ant, that would be super awesome. But yeah, I am not there yet, so I will have to figure out a little bit more how to actually do this analysis. Anyway, that's the that's the first thing that I'm currently doing. And I just gave the preliminary presentation that I set up, uh, kind of the outline to my lab to get a lot of feedback and which I also got. Just made me realize how deep I am in the topic and I don't know anymore what an outsider doesn't know and has to know. So it's really difficult to explain. To explain to someone who doesn't know what I'm talking about, because I have all these concepts already in my mind that I would have to say explicitly, but I forget that others don't know what a correlated random walk is, or it means square displacement. It's also called the curse of knowledge. Another thing that I am doing as well is working on a side project that I have started three, four years ago at a workshop. So we're a team of four people and it is on a model of how swarms could avoid being trapped inside of obstacles like dead ends, cul-de-sacs without any specialized rules of like wall following or okay we're trapped and now we're going to do this just by how the swarm is kind of cohesive and yeah it has been taking way longer than we anticipated but there was a lot of um, change in like how we think about this project and what our aims are and what we want this paper to look like so that's what I've learned to always in the beginning be as clear as possible what the outcome will be but anyway here we are the paper is almost written. We now just have to go over the discussion and then just revise it uh, all over again. And then um, we might be able to, to send it to a publisher, maybe even before the end of the year. That would be cool. Oh, and I will leave a link in the description if the paper has already come out by the time this video has come out.
Thing number three currently is that I also had to put together a few just slides with literally just pictures that students sent me from the marine discovery class that I'm teaching. Because today we are going, so in about half an hour, we are going to have a class discussion where each student presents a article that they found about the impact of climate change on the ocean life. And they're going to present that in two minutes each. We're going to create the class all together with every student being involved and then having like a Q&A and a discussion session about this. So just collecting these pictures here. And I'm looking forward to that, yes. It's been a bit of a struggle this semester with the teaching due to a lot of uncertainty and having to redesign things. But yeah, now it's looking pretty good. It's almost time. My cohort mate Adam is currently giving his Tuesday seminar presentation before me. So in about half an hour I am going to be handed the microphone the stage. I am well prepared. I'm not very nervous. I'm just more excited and uh, looking forward to this. And I just got done. Wow, you can find this video when I upload it at some point on my channel as well. Ah, oh, that was that was great. That went really well. I filled the whole time, but the great thing was that I got a lot of comments and questions from the audience, so mostly professors who are really interested in my research and my questions, and it was quite a bit of discussion. So yeah, that was um, rewarding. <laughs> they have actually talked a little bit about the same kind of analyses that I kind of tried out for a little bit, like fast Fourier transform. I just don't know exactly how to implement them, but I have thought about them, so yeah. Seems like I'm on a, on a good track. All right, now I have to prepare for the teaching class that I'm going to moderate again today. We found that like 7% of people were actually changing their everyday habits. Where it's like, you know, that's not really... Also, um, today there are some virtual conferences going on. So this is a meeting, um, just a meetup of a few ant researchers. And it's really interesting. It's really cool to, even if it's just virtually, connect with uh, those people again. Like half of those I have already seen and at some conferences before or where I have been um, in Würzburg. So it's really great to just get uh, cool new research presented. Let's code. It's the afternoon and now I'm also writing uh, some instructions for presentations that the students will give in the class that I'm teaching and um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that, uh, hearing presentations again, because they were really good. At least the, the last ones that we saw. We have found our groove now in the last month, and um, yeah, it works pretty well, I think. Uh, we're letting uh, students discuss more, and um, I think they're getting uh, their money's worth and time. I'm in my office again, it's pretty much once a week or so. Today, because I brought my bike to the bike shop um, across campus, yeah, now I'm just doing stuff here, which is also kind of nice for a change. Um, yeah, it's uh, cold in the office, as always, because the AC or whatever, the climate control, it, it doesn't really work. Entering Winter Haven for the first time in uh, all the years that I've been here, and I always wanted to go. <laughs> Here we are. Merry Christmas.